Hi. Good morning. I'm Asher. Uh, welcome to my channel, Homebrew Healing, and the 11th installment of the CBT series that I'm running. Today's card of the day is Thoughts Are Not Facts. So sometimes the thoughts that we have can feel like observations of the world around us, exclusively observations of the world around us. And because of that, thoughts like, I am a failure, or I'm unlovable, can feel as real to us as thoughts like, the sky is blue. However, it is important to keep in mind that thoughts are not always reflections of reality or observations, and they're often not factual. However, thoughts can kind of become our truths, and they do to a degree, because in the same way that negative thought patterns can really contribute to our emotional responses and our overall worldview and perception of reality and the people around us, the thoughts that we have can, in a similar way, become our truths. I've gotten into this super, super corny practice of telling myself that I love myself every day, along with expressing gratitude when I wake up and go to sleep. And I've gotten to a point, because I've been doing this so frequently uh, with consistency, where I, that is my, that is my truth. My truth is that I love myself. My truth does revolve around, you know, a, a myriad of of gratitude and appreciation very much so for the the hard things as well because I've discovered that there's always a silver lining in no matter how dire or you know heartbreaking a situation might seem there is always a lesson to be learned there's always an experience or something gained from that to be grateful for and because I've been training my thoughts in this way, this has become my truth. This has become my reality. These have become my facts. Thoughts very much become beliefs, which can become actions, which can become our worldview. If you are consistently telling yourself that you're not good enough, that you're pathetic, that you're not worthy, whether or not that is a, a factual thought, and I can guarantee it's not, because we are all human and we all make mistakes. We're all flawed, um, but we're all, you know, incredibly resilient and beautiful and talented in our own ways as well. You will start to believe these negative thoughts about yourself. They will start to become your reality especially if that is the only or regular kind of feedback or narrative that you have. And that's one of the reasons why CBT as a therapeutic practice, you know, has been shown to be so effective because our thought patterns have so much power in how we see ourselves and how we feel and how we see others in the world around us. So for today, I do challenge and empower all of you to be on the lookout for any interpretations that you might be experiencing about yourself, others, or the world around you that may or may not be true. Try to bring an awareness to these thoughts and recognize that these are not necessarily facts. And that these might actually just be stories that your mind has created. Well, until tomorrow, folks, thanks for joining me. Ciao for now.